Alright guys, so what you just saw were examples of what you can do with the Matter app. I think it's pretty damn cool, even though you can only use photos, so this is mostly a photo app. Eventually, I'm sure they'll end up adding video or a way you can add these effects to videos. But as it, as it stands, it's just a photo app, so if you're not interested, sorry, but I still think that you can make a pretty convincing video with this. Okay, so uh, like for instance, that, 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 that uh, example I had up there a little earlier, I took it into Pyro Painter. For some reason, it's not working. The pyro painter won't uh, render, but let's watch this. I added that effect. And of course, you can you, you can subdue some of these effects with a filter or something. But uh, I mean, it looks pretty damn cool, right? And this is the problem I'm having with it. If you guys haven't seen this video app, uh, go ahead and ch check it out. It's it's called Pyro Painter or something or other. It's in there somewhere in my video library. Uh, and start rendering and it goes back there so it might encounter that problem but this pyro painter uh, app is pretty damn cool too okay let's go back into the matter app and yeah, i'll reach you later okay so if you go into ideas it'll give you different ideas as to what you can do with this app but let's so let's just get into it you've already seen some ideas uh, these are all the photos that i have in my photo library or you can use community photos Let's see what they have here. Of course, it's best to get a good picture with a solid background. Uh, I want one with good lighting. Doesn't seem to be anything available in this section. Let's go here. <laughs> Uh, okay, forget it. Let's just pick this one. You pick your aspect ratio. Got it. And then you got the different packages. Um, to be honest, I purchased this app a while back. I can't remember. I usually just purchase things, uh, the apps, and then I just purchase all the, 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 the ultimate package, whatever they happen to have, and just unlocks all the things. It's, the, it's usually the cheapest way to go. So let's go with that option. And then it'll take you to the different uh, structures that, that are available. Of course, when you use two fingers on this app, you're able to to size the object. If you try doing it with one, it's not going to work. It's just going to pivot a little bit. Okay, so that's not the object I want. And if you noticed, uh, when I was on the other page, I had all the different packages. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and go here, and it'll take you to the next pack. And then it's a, you got another group of structures, and then uh, da, 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 da. I keep going. Next pack, and these are all, are all the different uh, objects that are available here. Okay. Uh, the reason I wanted good lighting is so I can show you guys how to use the shadow. Of course, I've already seen you guys have already seen me use this one in, in the video. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you guys have also seen me use the little UFOs in, in my alien pick, which is these right here. Aren't, that, isn't that, aren't those cool? And what makes this realistic is the shadow on the ground. Like, you can actually take a, a photograph and have these objects move in it, and it looks real. Not, well, not real, but you know what I mean. Like, it's actually there. The cool part about this is you can size it like this with your fingers, or you can use this button. has certain uh, sizes already set up there that you can use. Uh, or you can use this one to position it in different places. Subtly. Dramatically. <laughs> of course, it's just better to do it yourself. And if you use this one, It'll just take you through all the different positions and give you ideas as to what what could look good, what doesn't look good. Right? Okay, the reason that it's reflecting is because we have it on a reflective, because uh, you can see, like, the mountains in the object. Okay, if you don't want that, you can just change the style. They have different styles. If this is the one we're on. This is called Wrap. This one's called Refract. That one's cool. Kind of looks like a, a cloaked uh, something or other, right? It's one of my favorites. 
There's another one called Dots that I really like. Where is it? There we go. <laughs> kind of like highlights all the the points on it. Well, anyways, you want to you want to choose what you what you need for your project, and then uh, oh yeah, the mess with the shadow. Okay, let's position this here, and say the sun's coming from over here, back here. You want to go to your shadow, and this will move it. See, like right there, the shadow's in the sky. That's just not gonna work, right? So you want to take the shadow. Keep trying to move it with two fingers, but the shadow you can move it with one. That makes sense. Okay, and then you have the shadow cast on the floor over here. And then where let's say you're ready to go. Let's say you want to export this. You click this button up here on the right hand corner. And it'll take you to export. If you just export it, it'll just take export it as a photo. What you want is video. There it is. Of course, it gives you different options as to what you can do with your video. Or uh, This is just spinning slowly. So let's make it spin faster. Oh, now it's going faster, right? See that? You can have different rotations. You can have it rotate in every angle. Okay, so once you have your... Um your angles and everything else the way you want it, your shadow cast the right way oh by the way there's also this pulse and hover um, this will pulse your object you can pulse, you see how it's doing that and the hover will kinda just make it bob in place it's very slight but if you, I mean a certain a certain ones, this, this may look pretty cool, I mean it looks pretty cool here too okay so once you're done um, just go to the bottom here and press make video and it should go and then once it's finished here you can, oh by the way on Instagram they have an Instagram page, you guys should follow them um, they have some pretty cool ideas there and if you share it it gives you the basic shit uh, or you can just save video directly to your photo library where you can now take it to another app like I did with Pyro Painter let's, let's see configure something else out there remember this is kind of this is what it looked like here once I added the special effects uh, okay well Boom. And then start rendering. And nope. So it looks like we're still having problems there. So whatever. We'll figure that out later. Mm, that's it, guys. Go to your photos. It should be there. There it is. Alright, guys. Well, peace out. I uh, hope you guys like the app. And uh, check out some of my other ones. If you guys haven't seen them, I have plenty of other video effects apps that you guys can use in your videos. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Peace out.